Akhuni is a slice of life bowl of aromatic flavors with a little more than a pinch of racism subtly giving out a message that everyone has a right to their own cultural freedom and casual racism is a slow poison that erodes the society of compassion and humanity a group of friends from northeast who live in the humayunpur locality of delhi come together to prepare a traditional northeastern delicacy called akhuni for their friend's wedding and this dish uses up a fermented soya cake that has a pungent smell could be repulsive to a few others living in the same building now the whole film revolves around the struggles to find a place to cook akhuni as they've been ousted from their own home in their building by the snooty landlady and other oppressive tenants according to whom their food stinks nicholas kakonga's akhuni is a comical satire on the sense of belongingness the haunting feeling of not belonging to a city you've lived for decades of having a home yes but missing the sense of familiarity and not being able to exercise rights in the city acceptance and alienation are not antonyms here though the film condemns racism it does not denounce north indians in one dialogue where chambi reprimands bidang that you've created your own northeast here and are not receptive to the goodness of people around The film serves as a dialogue for the right and the wrong for you to decide. The commentary is vivid, intertwined with beautiful moments amongst friends, love and togetherness, and replete with daily instances in the lives of northeast commentary living in cramped lanes and facing casual or traumatic racism on a daily basis from disgusting sexist slurs like malai hurled at chambi to just mean things people say like your stinky food or you all look the same. are addressed in this film with food occupying the center stage becoming the metaphor for both racial bias and sense of familiarity in an alien feeling neighborhood food brings the friends together and in one scene where they dress up for the wedding and promenade the dim lanes together with a sense of pride is beautifully shot the smell of northeastern culture comes through vividly and beautifully all actors new and experienced are brilliant In a small tiny frame we'd see designer Jenjum appear endearingly. Saini Gupta and Lin Lai Shram are powerful in the portrayal. Dolly Alu Arya as the landlady and Vinay Patak as the landlord bring in the comic relief well. Don't miss out the amazing Adil Hussain's blink and you miss it appearance intermittently. This film is not a flag bearer of anti-racist movement in Indian films nor does it even preach anything explicitly. but it intelligently stirs in the pivotal issues the migrants from northeast face in delhi bringing to forefront the roots of racism through their eyes now the germ of racism is new to india many of us have insulted or demeaned someone on the basis of racism intentionally or unintentionally hurled slurs or casually harassed someone or just poked fun It's time we open our eyes to petty biases and take steps to eradicate differences one person at a time. And then maybe one day we'd have a big bowl of love and humanity everyone can savor from without feeling left out. Do watch the film and come back and tell me in comments below what did you feel? Thank you. Nura pakhang ani do jin mukam shikam